Good afternoon, it's Pastor Marty from The Afternoon Drive. Well, of course, the mainstream corporate corrupt media, as well as Democrats, are in absolute meltdown mode over the fact that Alabama has just signed into law the most restrictive abortion ban in the country. And from what we understand, a similar measure has already passed in the Missouri Senate and is on its way for a uh, vote in the, in the House of Representatives there. Louisiana is right behind the state of Ohio with the infant heartbeat law. Um, Democrats are going insane. This is, this is restricting the rights of women. You've got lunatic women out there with their children and I've seen this in the area where I live, an area crisis pregnancy center. Once a year, they do a walkathon to raise money. And a group of liberal wingnuts from our local university decide to stage a counter protest. And you had female professors there with their daughters holding up signs, I'm proud of my abortion. Well, but the kid next to you is glad they weren't one of the ones that got aborted. How do these abortion advocates, how do they actually live with themselves when it comes to looking their children in the eye and explaining why mommy's out here fighting for the right to kill babies? Because that's exactly what it is, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You got Alyssa Fathead Milano, you know, wanting a strike on Georgia over their abortion law and wanting a sex strike, which nobody is, is, is following. And as far as a boycott of Georgia by Hollywood, nope, the big production companies, it's very tax incentive and appealing and cost effective to film in the state of Georgia. So, you know, unless I guess you'll just turn down those parts you aren't even being offered anyway. That said, Kirsten Gillibrand, you know, she wants to be president. She's polling right now at about zero. Uh, and an article that just appeared in The Hill said, if you are a person of Christian faith, one of the tenets of our faith is free will. So she's trying to say that Alabama's restrictive abortion law is a violation of the Christian faith. Are you kidding me? This is like some of these Episcopalian priestesses who came out and, you know, they talk about that, you know, God is for abortion. If the child is going to be unwanted, it would be better that they not be brought into this world. And then, of course, you have the other liberal wingnuts within the Democratic Party, the politicians, the advocates, the outright... Uh, protesters and advocates for pro-choice. Stay out of my uterus! Allow me for a moment to speak on behalf of the infants inside the womb. If you didn't want me here, why did you engage in the activity that put me here? So now, your stupidity is my fault. I have to die because you didn't say no. I have to die because you have a regret. I have to die because it's not convenient for you. I have to die because it's your right. That's not a fair way to frame this argument. That is absolutely a fair way to frame this argument. I have said for years, if Americans were forced to watch an abortion actually be performed, they would be illegal overnight. Well, we've got Roe v. Wade is not law. It was the unelected Supreme Court not respecting the separation of powers and acting as a 
legislative body rather than a judiciary. They invented a law which does not exist. Now, there are many dissenters, and even on the Republican side, oh, oh, I, I don't support uh, Alabama's new law. I, I, oh, boy, they're so quick to come out and condemn it. Where were they when Andrew Cuomo signed into law in the state of New York that an abortion could happen in the actual birth chamber? Where were their words of condemnation when Governor Northam of Virginia said that once a child is born, if they realize, oh, it's got a deformity, oh, it's not quite what we wanted, they'll make the baby as comfortable as possible, and then the mother and the doctor will have a conversation to decide whether it gets to live or not. How is that about your uterus? How is that about your body? That is about a living human being. Do you know what General Dwight D. Eisenhower did once Germany was occupied at the end of World War II? He made the citizens and the townspeople that lived around concentration camps and knew what was going on there and said and did nothing he made them walk through the concentration camps. He made them look at the vile, barbaric behavior that they turned a blind eye to. He made them dig up bodies and give them proper burials. Every American needs to watch an infant be turned into V8 juice and a hose and then wash down a sink, flush down a toilet. And you think Alabama went too far? Now we know court challenges are coming and eventually this will end up at the Supreme Court well, Mr. Kavanaugh, you're going to let us down again? Mr. Catholic basketball coach, man of so-called faith and values, we fought for you. When the Democrats literally wanted to run you out on a rail, when they wanted to lynch you, literally, we fought for you. Lindsey Graham stuck up and fought for you, and turn the tide of that hearing. He gave the wish-wash rhinos some backbone to vote for your confirmation. And you keep siding with the liberal side of the Supreme Court? You side with Ruth Bader Ginsburg? So when this Alabama abortion law comes before the bench. What can we expect from you, Mr. Kavanaugh? Will you stand up for life? Will you stand up for decency? Or do you and Skitch, Screech, whatever his name was, need to drink some beer and pump some iron? Show us one of your calendars again. I am through trying to engage this conversation on this topic in some type of humble, let us reason together. No, if you're pro-abortion, you're a murderer. And you've got the Democrats right now, they're not even talking about abortion, they're talking about outright infanticide. And some of you congressmen, some of you senators, rather than condemning what Alabama did, why don't you do what's never been done? If you're that set on abortion, that it truly is the right of a woman and the law of the land, write the law. Because we don't have one. What we have is the Roe versus Wade Supreme Court opinion 
of a right to privacy which had nothing to do with conception rights. Will it be challenged in court? No doubt about it. Will it go down in flames? Well, you see where half of this country is. You see the things now that they take to the streets and protest over. The women that put on their little wedge caps after Donald Trump was inaugurated and screamed and carried on and had their pro-so-called women's rallies where, I'm a nasty woman. What kind of woman makes a video talking about how proud she is of her abortion? How does Alyssa Milano, who is a mother, explain to her children why mommy can't be home and why I have to keep going down to Georgia and protesting election results and protesting their abortion laws, even though I don't live there, Mommy has to go and defend other people's rights to kill their children. Whoopi Goldberg said on The View just yesterday, there is no law that says you have to have an abortion. You're right, Whoopi. You're right. There's also no law that says you have to have sex. The activity which can produce a baby. Abstinence works 100% of the time. As far as I know, here you go, Kirsten Gillibrand, I as a pastor with an actual degree in theology, let me teach you some theology. Because if you think for a moment Jesus Christ would advocate hands which shed innocent blood, by the way, that's scripture, stop and think about it this way, Kirsten, let me let me lay some other theology on you here. There are certain things that God really hates and he saves up wrath for, and one of them are hands that shed innocent blood. Scripture says of God, while you were yet in your mother's womb, I knew you. I knew you. That's a person with a future. A planned destiny to fulfill. How do we know we aren't aborting the scientist that's going to come up with the cure for cancer? The cure for heart disease? the one that would be able to rally a nation to end bigotry. And we keep <sniffs> and flushing them down a toilet. And with it, flushing our own future. And aren't you all so concerned about the future? That's what you tell us the Green New Deal is about. yet you're advocating the killing of our future in the name of your reproductive rights and stay out of my uterus. Well, don't engage in activities that put things there that are protected whether or not the United States government recognizes it or not are protected because God is the giver of life. And just like the Nazis had to answer for their crimes against humanity, so will we, if we allow this to become the law of the land, that we are a nation of infanticide. Please like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel if you don't. And hit the bell for notification of my next rant.